What's up guys, my name is Fran and once again, welcome back. So recently Intel introduced pricing and availability for the new Optane drives. But there's just one burning question, what the hell is Intel Optane? In this video, we're gonna find out. Okay, so at a higher level, Intel Optane is just an SSD cache. If you're familiar with something like Apple's Fusion Drive, you'll know that it's just simply an SSD combined with an HDD, and the software will intelligently move data over to the SSD that's more frequently used by the user. But instead of being a single device, Intel Optane is actually an addition. It comes in an M.2 form factor, and it actually sits between your RAM or your DRAM and your storage. Now, as you may or may not know, RAM is what we call volatile. That means that once it loses power, it's completely empty, while something like storage actually retains its information after it actually loses power. Now, you can think of Intel Optane as a storage hard drive that performs as fast as RAM. Now, it's not as fast as RAM, but it does perform a lot faster than an NVMe SSD. Now, this is made possible by something that Intel calls 3D Crosspoint technology. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that in this video, but I will leave a link in the video description below if you wanna read up more on it. But the gist of it is that an Intel Optane drive is super low latency. This gives it the ability to call up data a lot faster. So how does Intel Optane work? Well, like I said earlier, very similar to the way a Fusion drive would work. I can only assume through a driver or some sort of software, it can actually look at your usage patterns or the applications that you use the most and actually move that data over from a more traditional mechanical hard drive or even a slower SSD and move that over to the Optane drive as long as there's enough storage for it. For example, if you're using something like Google Chrome or maybe some boot up files for your operating system, or even that one game that you load up every single time you play your computer, it will move all of that over to the Optane drive so it can go faster up the compute path. So I think it's worth mentioning that currently right now, Intel Optane is only being supported by the Kaby Lake family of processors. And the only motherboards I've seen, at least on Intel's website that are supporting it, are gonna be in the Z270 family. Now I do think this is kind of interesting because I don't think someone who's gonna purchase a Z270 is gonna be looking at something like an Optane drive because the Optane drive is more geared towards someone who's gonna be pairing it up with a mechanical hard drive. I think it is geared a little bit more towards the user who's gonna purchase a B350 motherboard. So I think those actually should be coming in the future real soon. Now, speaking of budget-oriented builds, Intel Optane is not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. Intel recently released the two sizes they'll have at launch, one being 16 gigabytes, while the other is gonna be a 32 gigabyte card, and they both seem to be pretty reasonably priced. I think where Intel Optane can actually make its biggest impact would be in the laptop market. It would be nice to have a mid-range or lower-end machine that does have a ton of storage, but still can perform like an SSD. Now, I know I'm saying all of this without actually having one in my hands or actually testing it yet, but just reading up on it and seeing some examples of it online, it definitely seems like it does work exactly as we think, and uh, I'm pretty excited to see it come to the market. So that is gonna wrap it up for this video on Intel Optane. If you guys have any questions or feedback, do me a favor, leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, slam on that like button, and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, guys, my name is Fran. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.